Aloha, and welcome back to Physical Therapy for a Better Life. I'm your host, Christine Linders, physical therapist and board-certified orthopedic clinical specialist. Today's show is going to blow your mind. We're going to talk about the mysterious and crazy world of fascia that's under our skin. It's a huge part of every part of our body and our body system, and I've got the expert, the 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 gifted man to guide us on that journey. I'm going to introduce you to someone who has helped myself, my body, my mom, my colleagues, my patients, and that is Jordan Coleman. He is an NASM certified personal trainer and fascia, myofascia equalizing specialist. Jordan, thank you so much for making time to come onto this show. <laughs> my pleasure. About time. I, it's about time is right. I, yeah. I want, I, 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 I highlighted how you helped me transformed my body. I said that before transform my body, how I feel, how I move, how I'm thinking. And I want you to tell everybody, cause I know they want to know, how did you get started in what you do right now? So I'd say, I don't know, 10 years ago, I met Anthony Crisco. So he calls himself the equalizer or the, the fascinator, right? Yes. So um, I met him and he was talking to me and one of my friends and I wasn't paying attention at all. Then, then as a basketball trainer, I wanted to work in gyms. So you have to become certified. So I became a certified traditional trainer and worked in 24 Fitness and used their gym to create a basketball program, which was blah, blah, blah. So anyway, <clears throat> after I did that, I went to Island Club and Spa, then um, I've been to... Um, while the country club and I was teaching classes and I was barely learning anything. Yeah. So then I started making rollers myself because I started sending people to them. So I started using them when I was rolling and I was trying to make them stick the glue stick, blah, blah, blah. And so after that, I, um, I felt my hamstring drop for the first time. I felt fascia actually really do a really amazing job to me just from rolling over and over and making like 20 rollers. I'm rolling on them to try to get them to stick. So that caused my hamstring to drop. I realized I was not doing it enough. So once I did that, I lived at this place in, in uh, New Orleans. I had like 70 stairs. So every day you got to go up at least once or twice, right? So um, one day I was in the middle of the stairs and my knees bothered me. So I put my hands on it and I just held it for a second to see what was wrong with it. If, you know, you can feel clicking or blah, blah, blah. You know, the stuff that going to really throw you off. And it just went whoop, and back to where it came from. So I walked up the stairs, I came back down, and it was gone completely. So, so that night, I worked on everything that I had that was an issue. And, you know, slowly they started to change, and then they started to change more, and then more. And then I started to realize I can actually run more, I can jog, I can jump. I couldn't even jump my, because of deflections of playing overseas for playing basketball overseas. <clears throat> you get injured, you're pretty much on your own a lot of the time. So you deal with your own injuries. So uh, once I discovered that I had some, a gift of some sort, I did, had no idea what it was. And I went to my daughter's school the next day, and um, her principal was back was bothering her. So I said, hmm, I discovered something last night. And she goes, huh? <laughs> yeah, last night. And I just touched her back at her sacrum and her lower back, and it just, boom, gone. And she started crying. And so did I. Because the, the moment was so big for me that I realized that somebody's giving me a gift and I don't know why. So now I've incorporated into what I do. <clears throat> so people rolling, you can do what I do. It just takes you a lot longer mm -hmm. because fashion itself is just water. It's 80% water. And as of 2012, the largest system in your body, they thought it was just an organ. So this is American Medical Association, 2012. Yep. So that's 10 years. And, and research, you can ask. I mean, it's sad, but you can ask just about anybody who doesn't deal with high-level fascia, about fascia as a doctor or someone in the practitioner, they have no clue. And I didn't either. And now I'm, it's frightening how amazing this lost tissue is. And most people don't even know why. They go, why would, why would there be a tissue there? Why would there be something there that I don't know it's there and no one's told me about it? Because I used to throw it away is to put it in a bucket. And, yeah. and the researchers used to take pride in taking it all out and putting it in a bucket. In fact, I'm going to go to my boss and tell him to make sure I did it all, all gone. And it's 80% water and shrubbery. 100 and so years of 
Crash research never never touched it. Cadaver so they put the organs back in so I could see where they belong and leave this alone. So now every university in the world is doing research on crash because they understand that we miss something. We miss something, but what you have, like you said, this gift is definitely something that every single person that I have sent to go go see Jordan, my mom was like amazed. My colleagues, my patients, they all say the same thing. They're like, wow, he has gift. And I'm so glad that you have found this the gift link. for for the yeah. for anybody that has pain, the link, the link to it equalize your body. I always say like unwind my body. Like you touch yourself and you you there's videos and I, I want to tell everybody today. I, I did forget to upload all these before and after shots of Jordan working and I will put them in my show at the beginning of my show in two weeks so you can see what it's like uh with the body when Jordan puts his hands on you. But it is miraculous what happens i watched the video of my friend ryan who plays beach volleyball you touched his body and you could see it moving and he bent over and said wow my back pain's gone it it's amazing the the equalizer thing or the resetting or whatever that that you do but when you when you get like when someone comes to see you and you don't you don't even need to know what what hurts on them i can tell everybody that because i didn't say a word and i I don't have to you don't have to know but but what do you what what would they expect in a visit from you? Like, what are you doing when you put your hands on their body? Like, what is the equalizing or these, you said what, it. What these loops? I'm, and- I'm feeling how uneven you are. So your body has its own circumference in every space. And we're built on, on, on tendons and stabilizing tendons. So when somebody gets hurt, most of the people, they go straight to the pain. That's your weak spot. So, so I'm feeling where that circulational pressure is coming from, weak left to right. And it tells you, I learned that I can touch two parts of the body together, whether it be knee, head. And now I know that I can touch your foot and your head, and I can change the circulation process just from touching those two points. Before, I thought it had to be real close, like a like hand or a knee or something close to the and, and, but, but you don't have to have that closeness. You, it's, it's an energy that goes through the person. And... And, and every time people come to me, they go, how are you today? And, and I say every day, how can you not be? I grew up, I wake up every morning with something new being given to me on how the body's path is working. I used to use fascia just to, to, um, to manipulate and go, wow, it's amazing. And now I try to follow the direction it's telling me to go. I see. Instead of actually just manipulating it, I'm trying to feel what's uneven and how to change that back and what the structure is. The structure is the key to fascia. You learn the structure, you can change something. You have no structure, you can, you can roll the hell out of yourself, and it's not going to make a difference because you're in the wrong space. You need to roll the entire system, period, every time. And if you miss a space it'll still reward that space with extra more circulation because that's what fascia does. It increases the amount of hyaluronic acid you're producing and it breaks down excess collagen, which breaks down all of our free radicals, breaks down all of our crystallized circulation and especially microvasculars of circulation. And we ignore so many parts of our body because we think it's one part. We and, do. And I have no idea why I was given this gift, but... <laughs> Every day, someone comes to me, and you know, people cry at me all the time. I believe it, yeah. All the time, because because they think what's happened to them is is never going to change. Right. And they're at the last level of their space. They think it's never going to change. So that in itself is just enlightening every day to know that that one iota of information can change your life. It's amazing, and you know, the one iota of information that. I always hear from you and I link it to a different phrase that I use is you said, you know what, as long as you put it back, you know, you're, you're hunting all day. You're, you're working this way. You're working out here. I'm working on patients. As long as you put it back, you restore the fascia, but then we don't put it back. We go and we sit on our sofa and we look at our phones and we type on our laptop and we relax in a slouch position. We don't put our, our body. We don't put our fascia back after Unless. Unless, so tell us how, unless what? what unless it hurts. Do? Unless, unless it's it pain. People don't get up and stretch out of a chair unless they have pain. Otherwise, they're just going to go. And that in itself is what holds us. It's, we have a time frame. So fascia is going to let you do something that you used to do and, don't, and haven't earned physically 40 times today. 
and you did it 80. So I'm going to punish you for that. I'm going to give you a little indicator of pain, and we ignore all our instincts. So I'm going to ignore that instinct. I'm going to go, oh, okay, it feels a bit better. And, and you actually, in that movement, you slightly reset your fascia, but you didn't reset it fully because it has to have full length. You're at 50% slide when you need to be at 75%. So every time you do that, you're pulling to the side that's letting you slide the most. The weakest position is taking it and it's pulling it harder. And then it's pulling two joints together. They're never supposed to touch. Soft tissue floats the bones. And once they do, they'll wrap the bone and they'll change the structural balance of it so it doesn't sit like this anymore. Now it's going to sit like this because that fascia is pulling it that direction. And once it does that, you're in a, in a shift. And that shift, oh, it's just my hip. No, it's not. They're going to give you hip surgery. I guarantee it. They're going to sur- have to do surgery on one of your hips because it's out of place and it's fascially stuck. But in reality, that part needs to go back where it came from, loosen up so it can slide. And then you slide, you get you get your you get your gasoline and you and you get your which is your nutrient exchange. No nutrient exchange. If I'm never sliding, it's constantly dying. And all the lymphatics connected to it are also dying. They're getting slower and slower. And then your central nervous system is sending you slower information because because it's coming back slow. You turn the rivers off. Your foot's on that side. It has to turn that river. Now your foot's off. Now you think it's your foot pain when in reality your hip is causing you to have slow circulation because I'm squeezing it. So in the process, those rings, that's what I'm feeling, the main space and how it's off left or right. And most people don't even know. We have no consciousness of how we look. We don't even look at the mirror at our bodies at all. We just look at our face and, and I'm okay and I worked out today and I'm out. Not realizing that your body's starting to giving you signals gargling in your stomach, uh, chest pain, uh, angina, Headache, neck pain. Yeah, neck, especially neck pain because that's our arms. We use that more than anything. and We're using it now. That in itself is pulling on your neck because it's a ring to your system that holds on these two rings. And they're just um, tendons with stabilizers that can pulled and turned. And once they do, I can make any shape I want and the structure is going to take the path of these resistance. That's why you see people never walking straight. No one walks in conscious posture. No yeah, one. conscious posture. Tell us, what does that mean? It Is- means there's this, like a military, in the military, they make them stand in attention. Yep. That's conscious posture. Right. It, but, but unconscious posture is 90% of our life. In fact, yeah. I can say 94% of our life, even more, because we are, I'm like this now, when in reality, right. you're supposed to be here. Your body's remembering that. You're teaching it that that's the way that I want to be. And it'll take the path. It's what we do. It fashions the best at taking paths for you. And you change that path, it'll change for you. Because fascia replicates itself in different directions. Because all the, all the dimensional shapes in our body, designed like everything in the world, our bodies are designed the exact same way. An amazing bridge that adapts to your movement. Adapts to our movement. I want everybody to hear that. At that point, yeah, it, right it now, adapts to your movement. You screw you're, up. Yeah, you're hunching. You're driving right. forward. You're using one leg like, all the time to drive. Totally. Yeah. Sitting, sitting with your leg crossed all the time. Like it is adapting to your movement, and that's the consciousness of your posture, right? And I, everybody right. needs to think about that. And and you know what? The the old I don't know who came up with it. It's been since I've been a PT. The motion is a lotion. It probably was from a patient, right? Movement is medicine. Motion is lotion. Like our fascia needs Don't to move. When you move. Lose it. Yeah, like yeah. you said, you move and you kind of reset yourself in a little bit, but not fully. That's you right. need to move. We need to exercise to exactly keep, right. And so I, as we're talking about this patterning and and postures and how we hold ourselves and we're improving the consciousness of everyone watching this today exercise we need to exercise we need to move now i want to ask you too because i know people want to know and i've seen you show like my mom a stretch on the wall like kind of thing Mm -hmm. and to move the fascia and i have the awesome roller that you made but like what can people do like people are sitting watching this right now and so they're hunching they're sitting up straight they might have their weight on one butt cheek they might be twisting because they were like their space isn't able to keep, mm-hmm. you know, their, what, what can they do like right now to help reset their fascia? Is there, so you put your, you put yourself like right now I have okay. like this, this is behind my back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I have it turned this way and I take it on the airplane too. So 
like because because there is nothing there, you know, rolling pin. right so so you want to take that and put it behind your back this way too because now i'm sitting on it and it's on my spine yeah so now it's controlling me so for now after about 15 to 20 minutes of doing that which you shouldn't do it more than three minutes or four minutes to hold yourself in the space because it's going to, your body's going to start dropping circulation because you're sitting on a hose. But, but you want that to happen because that's breaking up fascia because it's stopping, it's pressing into the visceral area of your body and breaking up the space around the, around the bones because that's what's twisting. Once that releases, it gives you space. Once you get space, you only need a dynamic a fraction of space to actually give you movement that give, relieves your pain and turns off your inhibitors. The, the, um, <clears throat> the biggest thing about um, uh, fast is putting it, when you say putting it back, it's, it's one thing to put it back, it's another thing to earn it. People, when, I, when you say exercise, people don't earn their, 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 their gains, like tennis or, or hiking. People think hiking is exercise, it is not. It's kicking your butt and what's happening to you is you're actually ossifying yourself because you didn't earn the hike. You don't exercise every day. I hike once every two weeks or I hike something that's really hard and now it's heavy and that's a power movement and you didn't warm up, you didn't cool down. All those things, your body makes you pay for them. If you do them, it gives you a boost up. You go two days forward and one day back. But otherwise, you're going three days backwards and two days forward. You just think you're improving. You're, you look, oh, I'm tight. I look strong. But you're not. Your body's getting tighter. And it's like, uh, um, uh, oh, fishnet stockings <laughs> on somebody with, with really big legs. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking so about. So it's just pushing through the space. It's forcing. So your tendons are the net. And it's holding you so tight that you can't slide. So that once those tendons are released, the, the body goes back to its space, but until they are, they're pulling you so hard. And the, every time you do an exercise that you didn't earn and you're at 40 and you went to 80 and to 120, it's going to pull you to that side. It's going to hold you tight until you manually or physically remove that space and put it back where it came from. You have to earn it. And it's only an hour a week. You go, oh, I earned it. What do you mean? Earn it. It's an hour a week. You need an hour of cardiovascular exercise per week. People think it's a day. It's it, four days a week. It's a week. That's 60 minutes of exercise that raises your heart rate um, yeah. so that you can actually release synovial fluid. <clears throat> and once your heart rate's released, then your body's going to release the chemicals that actually breaks down your, 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 your sticky fascia. But that's 20 minutes, three times a week. You can break it up. Make it four, four times 10 or whatever. 10 minutes, to the, 10 minutes, six days a week, right? That's right. And it's no, you have no choice. Yeah. There, there is no choice in the matter. You, 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 there's people who get old and they're like a hundred. They're like, wow, you live so long. But, but, but I didn't do anything. I sat there the whole damn time. I made it to hundred, but, but I didn't really get any movement. You can make it further than that because your body is designed to reset itself. That is our protection in the world. We would really suck if you couldn't reset yourself. It's sad because that's, that's our protection. All you have to do is look at nature. All creatures have protection for themselves. That's ours. Our ability to have a mind to reset yourself. To reset I yourself. That. I know I, I want to reset myself right now. And I've been resetting myself and working really hard on it. And I am. And that's the base. Reaping. That becomes the base. That's the base. Most people don't know how to roll. So the roller sits in the corner and they go, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. And, and they're so simple. The movements are so well. They're simple for me at this point. Most people, yeah. when they when I tell them something and they get a miracle, like I could before, I can only move to here. And now I can go like this and wave my arm. But when I go home, I'm just going to try to make sure I don't use it. That's the exact opposite you want to do. Yeah, use because it. it sticks to fascia, and <clears throat> and once it does, it locks the joint. And once the joint is locked, it's hard. So yeah, you want to you want to make sure that roller is pressed against your body and the entire system, all of it. You got to do it all, and you don't have to do it every day but at least every other day so you can see what it does. And yeah, like I, could see you, I could see you shifting a little bit. Like That's right. I'm shifting. Yeah, that roller's on the back. And see, now now it's telling me to move. So I just pick it up. You can put it under your leg. So now I put it under my legs. And it's going to deflect the circulation for a few minutes. You should never do it for a long period of time, just enough to deflect the circulation so that your body calls 911 and says that, you know, there's a circulational blockage. We need extra circulation. That's an autogenic inhibition. That's your body saying, 
uh, I need to relax so that the circulation can pass through my legs because we're sitting on something. Can Simple we, that. like, what is it, like one to two minutes or something like that? 30 second autogenic inhibition. I'm doing 30 seconds speak, right now. It, it starts within 30 seconds. In fact, it starts with touching pressure. As soon as you touch a space, your body's going to react immediately to the pressure. And it's gauging it to, to uh, forget the amount of pressure we can cause within our system. It's over 2,400 pounds of pressure that our body causes when we make power movements. So just touching you, if you can feel it, it's already, your fascia is already reacted to it before it gets to your brain. That's wow. how fast. It has to. So in the process of doing that, once you put high pressure, it causes an autogenic inhibition. Your central nervous system reacts, sends more blood to that space, trying to push it open. When you let it go, autogenic inhibition gives you back movement to that space in the visceral area. So I'm doing it right now, and I've never thought to like put it under my hamstrings. And as soon as I did, I could feel that side That's that I right. my right, my right, true. yeah, my right hamstring sore. And you know what? I just moved it like it, like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It went away, and I moved it a couple inches down. I'm like, oh. Oh, wow, that's still sore over there. But I had no awareness that there was soreness back there other than that tends to be my consciousness. Problem. Consciousness, everybody. We have like, no consciousness of where our pains are, what they're coming from. And now because it's gone. We, that's right. Just like that. That's how fast it works. And it's not really, it just changed the position because you're sliding. That slide principle, you just beat this position and it's now sliding past here. If you keep going, the whole thing will open up and start to slide. And then once it right. does, you see you're picking up circulation. There's circulation with spots that are for, this is gas and this is a nutrient. If you don't get to this point, you get no fuel. You get no return of energy. People under, can't understand where their energy is stored. It's in the yeah. space of your slide. You can't slide. You're not going to get any energy. And you're going to walk like a duck the rest of your life. I always explain it. I mean, it's so true. I always explain it like um, like you're talking about autogenic inhibition and the, and the circulation of the slide. I always explain it like what this did when I put it under my leg was like a white knuckle like it totally like this exactly and then as soon as i hold it and i let it go your body like flushes circulation in there and that's what you're saying is like getting from i just did that at this point and now i move it to this point and it's like now the circulation is flushing through that fascia that's so much water and that's right. everything is my whole body is i, I always got goosebumps <laughs> on my and, that's, leg. and that's turn of the river so you you basically hit a position that's before the turn of the river so you increase pressure to the turn of the river, and now you roll your hands or your feet, it increases the circulation of the turn. That goes straight to your central nervous system. So most people are at a, a B minus of circulation. Unless you're an athlete, you're a A minus B plus. Most people are below that situation. They don't know it. They pass out, they get lightheaded, all that kind of crap. That's all related to the fact that your circulation is slow and being pushed too fast or too high and causing your body to react with uh, an adrenal gland influx that blows your mind, you know what's happening to you. Oh, and then I'm going to have some coffee and I don't realize that I just drained myself of all the water that I need for those organs. People think that's a good thing. It's good for energy, but it's not good for life because you're, you have to pee out. It's, ex, it's an extrinsic. You're going to pee water, three, three cups of water, and you need those three ounces of water for your organs. The free space of three ounces... We lose it every day. We don't even know how much we're supposed to drink. I get to ask that question all the time. How much water should I drink? What do you think about intermittent fasting? I mean, come on. Are you crazy? Your body needs energy. energy you, sleep is intermittent fasting as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Don't skip it after that. It's called break fast for a reason. So, yeah, um, I, oh, that's huge. I totally love the way you said, by the way. <laughs> had a client come here and we won't say any names, but she didn't eat. She ate dinner at seven o'clock and she saw me at 10 and didn't eat but a banana. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen to your fresh is going to be so upset at you because you didn't right. give it anything it needed. So now we're working on what we did last night. I mean, yeah, I had a friend who's, I have a friend who's Muslim. He, he was fasting for two weeks, passed out three times. You can't figure out why. I'm like, you're pushing yourself to the edge where your body's starting to get really upset about it. I think that's the interesting point right there is because like when, when we come to see you and you are, I, I like to say unlocking or unleashing, equalizing, when you're getting these stuck areas that are fascia, as soon as you do that and you follow it where it needs to go and then there's circulation now there, like yeah. the whole pass out effect. I was wondering, like when you said it, I was like, oh my gosh, that makes sense. 
all of a sudden there's an area that hasn't had any blood flow and that's then, right you know, and fluid moves and so where's it coming from it's coming from other areas because nothing's right. moving you're like whoo I'm going to pass right. out because now this area hasn't needed any, it's needed blood flow, but it hasn't had any. And now it needs it because you've released it, I like to say, or equalized it, or whatever. Now this flow that's been going like a river, you know, you put a rock in a river and everything moves around it. Now all of a sudden this rock is gone and the river's going whoosh right down. That's and right. you're like, whoo. Yeah. And and thing, you need calories for that. You need a fluid, like a, you you got know, it. water, water. You need, right? That's right. You need, you need some, you're going through the Krebs cycle immediately going through the Krebs cycle because you have no no calories for the circulation to increase. You've changed, you've added a new part to the town because it's closed. And 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 now it, it the water is, is draining from other parts of the city. So now you have to have that full you have to be ready for fashion. You can't just do it. People come here all the time. First of all, the first things I ask them is if they ate, because you can pass out from not having that circulation. When it comes back, you'll wake when you get the pass out is over or you get lightheaded once once yeah. it's over you you just go and it stands you up because yeah. that circulation was a, was everybody pulling at the same time reacting to the fact that and it, it only happens to people in a really bad only happens to people that are really bad i did it i did and, it but you I only got lightheaded i did get lightheaded out. yeah i worked lightheaded. out in the morning i had a banana i've done it to myself yeah. i've done it to I myself know. yeah and, and okay. no one knows <laughs> No one knows. That's the scary thing. What I do, most people don't, they have no clue it exists at all. That's I had the no frightening idea. thing. No clue. I didn't know. I didn't know when I'm in the industry. Like I took myofascial release as my first class in 19, in 2000. I took the, my first class in myofascial release and I was so hungry for knowledge. It might have been 98 actually, because that's when I moved to San Diego in 97, 98. And I didn't even think that. I didn't know what I was in for when I saw you. I had no idea. <laughs> and honestly, it is like, wow. And I, you're, you're the secret that exists that our bodies, our bodies can now have this, this potentials unleashed for, for pain-free, for health and well-being, for no more headaches, for vitality, for better oh, yeah. sleep, Jordan. Like I... Mental too, especially. Yeah. I know. I mean, I've been through it myself. That's the reason why I think gave to me, this came to me at this time in my life because, because I know what pain is. I, I've had sciatica. I've had bad knees, bad ankles. And I say had because if, if I feel the slightest bit of a twinge, I, can, I know what's causing it. I know where the pressure's coming from. I know why. Before, I was just happy that it released at all. And I just used it. I just kept using it and using it. Then one, one day something, something said to me, why are you just using this when you can direct it? So I started directing it. I started, and I didn't even go to the head. I mean, how would you even bother touching someone's head? You know? So I never went to it. And then I started to realize that I did it on myself and I went, my head changed shapes and I had to actually check myself and then do it again. I used the measuring tape because I couldn't even believe it myself. And now, and within 20 seconds, I can make someone's head shrink to a different size. And people, oh, that's insane. But when you say it, it sounds really crazy. Yeah. But if I tell you, like I said, if I tell you a monkey can talk, that makes you sound crazy. But if I show you, it makes you crazy. Because <laughs> when people feel it, they go, oh, my God, that's insane. Because that in itself is your central nervous system increased. But the reason you get lightheaded is because it's not ready to accept it. That's why you have to free the whole system and the turn of the river. And then it's ready to accept it. And once it's ready to accept it, you get to fly. Uh, I work on one leg on purpose or one arm on purpose or one side of someone's head on purpose so they can actually feel it. Otherwise, they'll think that's normal. Oh, I feel good like I did before. No. Now they go, oh, this one's dragging and this one's flying. Because yeah. that's what fashion does. It's in circulation increase. And if you're below a C, you should expect um, to be dizzy or a little bit lightheaded when you work with fashion. But you yeah. do it right. You do it every day. You get to laugh at people who do not believe you yeah. because it's funny. It's funny that somebody, I give people a, a, a small miracle with, with a roller in and of itself and they still ignore it. They still ignore it. It's amazing. But at some point, everyone's going to go, oh. yeah, it's going to, they're going to, the head's going to explode. That's the thing is it's uh it's 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 starting to explode, but we're still uh we're like, you know, population. People are starting to talk about it in the clinic fascia. I'm hearing it. People are saying fascia. Right. It's like 
I had never heard patients talk about fascia. I actually stopped That's mentioning right. it when I was in New York because That's right. people were like freaked out by Using like, it for oh, everything. No, just do the other thing. And I'm like, okay. So I would just kind of sneak it in and they're like, wow, I feel so much better after what you did last time. But they, I never, I never mentioned it, but you were talking about miracles with the roller or with the roller and definitely miracles when someone goes to see you because last this week when I had the, the setting I had another like breakthrough in my body when you were working on my foot because this toe had been bothering mm-hmm. me for years and it, it, it was back I work on it and it gets good but then you were going up the leg going oh my gosh wow feel this this fascia locked and oh my god wow feel this fascia locked and then this whole like right side why I can't sleep and I remembered that like in 2008 I drilled my femur into a big rock took a huge Ooh. chunk out of it which made me walk different which made my toe get super bad in arthritis, which made me move different over the right side. Because I remember I told you, I never had problems on this right leg ever in my life. And I, yeah, you were just working on my foot. And I'm thinking, oh, or my, you started at my knee. I can't remember what you started at, but I was thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's my knee injury started it. And I want people watching this to think about the fact, and you said it earlier today, how you could like touch the head and work on something different. It's not the sight of the pain often that is, the problem, it is sometimes if you bang your knee, but all the other things that happen over the 10 years, because we don't have any conscious awareness, it goes away. Right. It's weak, right. and then it it's like feels better. Tire when you ignored it. Yeah, it, that's all, amazing. All, every tire is going to be screwed up. Your chassis is going to be screwed up. It's going to be shaking, doing all kinds of things that it's not supposed to be doing because it doesn't have the mind around the right amount of pressure or balance. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're perfect, but we have varying degrees of, of movement that can allow you to go back to that space. But if you've crushed that very degree and pushed this far past it, your whole body's coming. And if it and the best thing, the funniest thing about fascia is that it'll graduate you to, to a space where you think you're fine. Athletes do it all the time. And oh, he tore his knee because he wasn't even, he just thought he was. And I flew on a plane, got off the plane, so on and so on. You can be pulled within that small space. Athletes aren't as much because they're at such a high level of circulation. But once the circulation drops, the, the, that's people think that's aging and it, that is crap because it's not soft tissue doesn't age unless you do not put do not put it back it will not age say that again fascia will not age as, as long as you make the soft tissue keep the soft tissue pliable it oh. won't age it won't it, it can't because it's structurally designed for your circulation if you keep the central nervous system flowing keep it flowing keep it flowing the soft tissue keeps flowing if you shut down the turn of the river or put something in the way, you have screwed that up. And uh, maybe take a little bit longer for you to get it clear, but you can. I'm going to give a secret. Here's a secret. Most people don't even know this exists, that you can roll your head. No one knows that. How do we roll our head? Show us. Because I think I think we Take probably this. have like a minute left, and I want to give somebody. Put it on the wall and put your head on it. But before you do it, turn your head left, right. Um, lift your legs up. Um, raise your arms up and then put this roller against the wall on your forehead, right about here, a little bit between the eyes, around here, and go up and down, side to side okay. for 30 seconds. And I guarantee you, with my life, that everything that you move will improve. Okay, that's Increase a test. your central nervous system by 2% circulation, somewhere in the area. But just by rolling your head. That's and it doesn't test. even exist. It doesn't exist. You will not find it anywhere except right here, just now. Unless someone else has told someone that I told. Because yeah. it, as far as I know, and that's one of the things about Fresh Eye, that after, for, after I figured out I had some crazy gift, I went on the internet and looked straight for f- almost four years straight, losing my mind, looking for somebody who was doing something. I saw some of the craziest crap in life looking through the internet, looking at people's causing themselves, saying that they're doing something that's physical therapy. Insane crap. Who knows? It may come together, but but it looked crazy to me. Never once did I see anyone doing what I do, except for that guy who does fashion trains. I can't remember his name, but he's still, oh, yeah. far, he's still so far behind me. It's not even funny. And that, that's the why I wake up every day laughing, because all these people are so far behind me, and I taught myself. I know. I taught myself, Rasha. You have a gift. And there's those people that, you know, when I met you, I said that I said, you have a gift. Like that's the, you know, I use the word. I'm like, what is it like guru? There's people that I know you have knowledge of the body. You're an athlete. You've been an injured athlete. You're a personal trainer. You have this inside knowledge as well. As, yeah, 25 as, years of personal training. Right. But so like you have that and then you 
you touch your leg and something happens and then you touch that principles back and then something happens and you're like, I don't know what this is. You meet, we meet people like that every now and then. And you're like, Oh my gosh. Like that book, a mutant message down under. I said that when I first met you, Marlo Morgan wrote the book. I read it when I first moved to San Diego in 97, I was like a traveler and, and they would, this woman went into the woods with the Aboriginal tribes in Australia somewhere. And it's like, she watched somebody have a green stick fracture where the bone breaks through the skin and their medicine man, they have all these people in the tribe came over and didn't even touch the leg and they didn't even touch it. They were like hovering over it and watched that fracture reduce. And so there's these powers that we get, these gifts that we get that you don't know why you got it. This person didn't know why they got it, but it's there. We are mutants. Yes. And so like, I'm so grateful to have been introduced to you and your awesome <laughs> mutantness. It's, I appreciate it. Trust me. Because, yeah. You know, it's it's been a long time coming, but this space itself, I couldn't figure out why I would even give it anything like this. A gift of this power is pretty crazy. Yeah. I, I, realize, I struggle with that a little bit every day to realize what is the purpose of me having something that's so amazing that when I tell someone, it, it, they go, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. And then I show them and they freak out. So it's it's a funny thing, but it's I, I feel like the reason is because we need to get to a better space of people understanding who they are. Yeah, so they can I stop agree. wasting money and wasting time on doing things that they should know when you're four years old, five years old, that you need to stay flexible. Get your ass, get your head off the internet because yeah. that causes tech neck and it causes you to pull forward and close the sternum. The sternum is one of our most volatile places in our entire body, just like the, the pubis and the issue, because they're pulling you into the interspace space and that's crushing internal organs. Most people have, that's their biggest issue. And I can feel the heart rate. You can feel it. As soon as you touch someone, touch two spaces, you can feel the heart rate in between. And if it's going, you can tell something's wrong there. And then slowly your body, it just starts to move back on its own. There's so many spaces that I've found that they, I find by accident because the world, the earth is the, body is like the earth it's that vast you just think you know but you don't it's crazy it is so, yeah it's, so tell it's me something that i'm still dealing with i want to know now um if people want to get in touch with you how is the best way to get in touch with you you know it's funny i've only worked on word of mouth i've never yeah. even taken a client that didn't come from somebody else or myself oh yeah so this so, might be the first time yeah, so I mean, people can call me. I guess I don't know. I I don't answer the phone anyway, so they can leave a message. So um, phone what number or or my email. Email, okay. So I think it's Court Sense um, three. Three. Yep. Number three. At yahoo.com. Gmail.com. Yep. At gmail.com. Okay. So yeah. everybody who's watching this, if you want to reach out to uh, reach out to Jordan, I know you have some YouTube stuff going on a little bit too. Yeah, right? you can Instagram. fashion equalizer. Yeah, that's right. Fashion that's, equalizer. that's like old stuff that when I first started realizing I had. That I just, that's when I just start freaking out and just going to people on the beach and make watch them freak out because it's been so much fun. I, I want to do that again because that's the energy of some people we acknowledge is frightening. We're, we need to do that. We need to do that. We need to do that. I apologize the end of the year being a busy time, but I do have the pictures and some videos that I will put in my next show in two weeks for everyone who's Sounds watching good. because that'd be great. And Jordan, thank you so much for coming on the show to blow our minds about fashion. Pleasure. It's, this is the tip of the iceberg. I wish the show was oh, yeah. too long, but um, I need to wrap it up. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much. And thank you to Think Tech Hawaii and all of our sponsors and donors for allowing us to host this amazing show today. Um, life is better when you listen to your physical therapist and life feels better when you get equalized in your family. That's true. That's true. Aloha, everyone. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.